first pod of the new year are we recording yeah you gotta is my hat looking funny you gotta band up i'm gonna take it off no nah, dude you gotta rub the happy dad funny. yeah can we talk about how much alcohol is making me feel like shit lately and yet we're still drinking <laughs> <laughs> happy new year dude First part of the new year. Wait, it's not even funny anymore. It just hurts. Like, I know. It feels so stupid in the moment and so bad. I after. got a flight of mimosas at the Norton Tap House in Plymouth. It's a great place to go check it out. Um, and I don't think I touched one of them for like 30 minutes. Dude. They're putting something in this alcohol. Yeah, poison. Yeah. They're trying to poison us. I swear to God, it's slowly killing us. Welcome back to Gotta Be a Podcast, you guys. Holy shit, I can't even talk today. <laughs> <laughs> we got a special guest today, uh, Jake Robbins. What's up, guys? Thanks for coming through, man. Yeah, thank you. I feel like we've been trying to get this done for a while, but, you know, we're here now. Yeah, hey, we made it. Back to, uh, it's 2024 now, January 1st. I'm never going to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> um how was uh thread miss dude it was dope uh i guess like you know f- for being a day before christmas like it was a really good turnout and then was that at the loft yeah okay yeah pretty good turnout yeah you know we sold out like the pre-sale tickets which was 250 but i think a lot of people must have like just grabbed some just in case and they're like oh no we probably should chill it's the day before christmas but it was a good turnout though was um anything going on at main stage skyway too no okay yeah that's nice so like even even like the production manager of skyway was like yo like this is like you know what i would consider good yeah like that's all that matters to me um are you still djing too like under red shoes or anything like that no not anymore yeah i kind of quit because like I don't want to be that guy that like everybody looks at like, oh, you're booking yourself or, like when you're doing these shows. I'm yeah, like, yeah, fuck it. I'm For sure. Um, I would DJ though. Like, yeah. A party or sh- you know, right after party or something, but I'm just um, not doing it like seriously. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And then, um, so are, are you originally from Coon Rapids then? Yeah. Well, originally I was actually born in Ohio, um, but I only lived there. You know, until I was like, I'm pretty sure like not even one years old. And then we moved here because my uh, mom and dad got divorced. And then so I've basically been in Coonerty Rapids since I was like seven. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And then do you have any family that lives out in Ohio? Yeah, uh, I think I have like an aunt and uncle and that's about it. My grandma that lived there, she passed away. Um, and then the rest of my family, it's like split between Minnesota and Florida. Gotcha, gotcha. I was just down in Florida like a week ago. Oh yeah, where'd you go? Um, Madura Beach. It's kind of like a little bit outside Tampa. Nice. It was cool. Um, the weather was. Oh yeah, I saw great. those pictures. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was like better than you know up here, but Florida's always a good time. Um, and then talking about Ohio, have you ever been to Lost Lands? Yeah. Uh, this past year was my first year. Somehow, oh, yeah. do you I, like it? Oh, dude, I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> it was so awesome. It's great because it's just all this, you know, pretty like heavy shit. Yeah, you know? and that's that's like my forte. Right. Like, I, I was I was stuff. making a joke earlier about how we're not doing any more house DJs on this podcast. <laughs> really? Hey, I'm, I'm just talking too. But... I'm just talking shit. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> you got roasted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a yeah bit. No, dude. Lost Lands. I don't know. From like what I've heard. Um, Like, they always, like, take into consideration, like, what the fans' input is. Right. And, like, like everybody that I talked to, they said it was, like, the best year yet. And, like, you could definitely feel that. Like, the way it was, like, set up and, like, everything was just so smooth. It was a fun time. I think I went 2020 or 2021, I think. I want to go back every year. I would go back for sure, yeah. (laughs) It's so Um, the th- shitty part was we didn't get like early bird or anything, so we were camped so far away. So like the the track to like the actual festival every day was like 
Once we go in, like we're not leaving yeah, until like, you're already the end tired of the day. by the time you get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, super good time. Yeah, I think next time I go, I'm definitely going to do like the early bird or something. Like we got lucky with the camping spot, but it definitely would be nice to like get closer because, dude, it, my feet by the end of that festival were like, yeah, not even there. <laughs> and dude, it gets cold at night. Yeah, it does. I don't know if it was like that this year, but. It was. So oh, you're just stupid. sweating all day and then it's like super cold at night. But yeah, I think we're really kind of like used to that though. Yeah. Being from like Minnesota and shit. True. Um, so how long, so you're the co-founder of High Caliber then? Yeah. So owner, co-founder, I basically just came up with the idea, grabbed everybody and made it happen. Yeah. And it's been doing pretty well, man. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's really cool to see because like, I don't know, we've only been doing it for four years and like when you start something i mean i'm sure you guys can relate with the podcast like yeah. you don't think about where it's gonna go you just start no it, you i know? mean we originally had the idea like a long time ago it just kind of took a while to actually like just start doing it you know what i mean yeah oh dude i know like, it took me years to pull the trigger well like, and I two <laughs> i think i want to say we were both like in relationships too like when we first started wanting to do it and it was kind of girlfriend's like no podcast yeah, had to work around their <laughs> right. schedule yeah, yeah literally but yeah once you start doing though it's nice yeah it's fun dude because like i always like ever since i got into like electronic music i knew i wanted to do something with it and like i went to like a little music school for a little bit and like due to ipr no i went to slam academy i just okay. took like an ableton course like for just to learn the program but uh, yeah, like that time of my life, I just couldn't put the focus in it. So I never really took it seriously. And then COVID and all that shit happened. We started the label and like, this is kind of like what I would rather be doing anyways. Cause like, I like the business side of it more right. so and helping artists, like, uh, that's fun. And then how old were you started like DJing and fuck around with like a board and stuff? I was, fuck, it was probably like, Maybe when, maybe when I was like 21, I started going to shows when I was 18. Uh, when I worked at Noodles and Company, there was like these older dudes that worked there and they brought me to my first show. It was at like Barfly. And I remember it, I like, it was also like, it was like my first show. I took some Molly from some random guy. And I remember sitting in Barfly and there's like this girl giving me a light show. Somebody's like giving me a, like a back rub yeah. and i was like wow this, this is, is really sick. cool <laughs> everyone's so nice you yeah. know what i mean it was fucking fun. oh good old barfly i had broke my ankle in there um what was that new year's like probably like six seven years ago yeah <laughs> happy <Yeah>. anniversary <laughs> shout, yeah. shout out to those strip those uh strip poles that they got in there <laughs> <laughs> they're actually uh apparently they're like fixing that up and bringing it back are they yeah so I actually used to bar back at Marusso's, but I kind of really? like would help out like at Skyway and do like wristband or coat check or some shit. You remember that uh, that security guy? He he looked like he had like Jose. A, yeah, yeah, dude. I so I was fucking blacked out in Marusso's, and I you know how like they had those booths, and then there's like uh, like paintings and shit on yeah, the wall. Yeah, I took a fucking ketchup bottle and i sprayed it all over the painting and dude, that dude like ripped me out of i that mean place. i almost fought him right in front of this guy but. yeah dude marusos <laughs> man did you ever go to like wingo or anything like yeah, that yeah yeah so, dude those were fun dude they were fun and like um that's like how i met travis right your Hell ex yeah. and shit uh he was pretty much like my like older brother honestly like, when i dude. worked there yeah i've known him for so long he's good shit we'll have to go like fucking bowling or some shit sometime we should i'll be down we should Dude, I hope they put something like a restaurant back in that spot. Dude, or something. I like. I know it didn't make a lot of money, but it was nice for like all the kind of like coworkers just to kind of go and like get away from all the craziness mm -hmm. for a sec. Um, and the food wasn't bad either. Um, food, yeah, it was pretty good. Crowd could sometimes be a little random and whatnot but i mean that's any bar on hennepin yeah. if you think about it <laughs> so i think 
when I first started working there, like the first week, there was like gunshots like right in front of the restaurant. I was like, this right. is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Food's good though. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know, dude. Minneapolis, like you got to kind of watch your back nowadays. I, but that's well, like any big city. No, 100%. You know? And I only go down there for pretty much shows. And if there's like a sporting event or some shit. Yeah. 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 Um, build different music group. Mm-hmm. What's that all about? So basically, I started that because um, I was just managing my friend Josh, which he goes by Thread. Um, and then, like, once I started to realize, like, damn, I feel like I can make a career out of this, I was like, well, I'm going to start taking out more artists. And then I've always kind of like done music promotion for people on the side just to make like little side cash. Um, I kind of like, like, well, shit, I'm going to take on more artists. Um, I should have like a brand, you know, a management right. brand. And I kind of just started that in the hopes of it being like a kind of like a like an all in one stop shop for an artist. Like whether you need like management or music promo or you know, basically anything, like so where to find whatever, like right. we can help you with that kind of thing. And for then sure. I just manage artists off of that and like do promo for people and Stuff like that. How many artists you got? Uh dude, I actually gotta look at it because I can never <laughs> oh. remember. <laughs> Not like astronaut. And I'm sure. Like, I mean, I'm probably like comes and goes too, right? I would assume. Yeah, I mean, there's like so like the people that I have like actually on my team is uh, Thread, Artifact, Grizzly. I really like Artifact. Col- yeah, he's good. Yeah, Colossal, Megahertz. Uh, psychedelics nikki stebs and two below and now doc lock uh, i just added him today and then like you know there's handfuls of artists that i just work with for like promo and stuff like right. that or consulting and um are is most of these people like local or is there a lot of people from like out of state too well yeah most are from out of state like i honestly at this point talk to more people that aren't from minnesota than for are. sure just because, like, I mean, the, the industry, like, it seems like it's pretty big, but, like, it is big, but, like, dude, most of it's just online, and it's, like, through yeah. networking and stuff. Well, I think the cool thing is, too, is I think we do have a pretty good, like, EDM scene here oh, in yeah, Minneapolis. It's, it's so, extremely good. Yeah. We, we, I mean, we have, like, everything, you know, a venue where Tiesto can come play to, like, down to, like, you know, somewhere right. like Barfly or something. Did you make it to the Armory at all this weekend? Yeah, yeah, I went to Zed's Dead. Hell yeah, Saturday. It was dope, dude. I knew some people that I went to the that. Armory. Right, dude. The Armory is so nice. It's I swear, just I could like eat off the floor. Do that <laughs> too, and like it's like it's like a big spot, but also like it's one of those spots where I'm like, if I lose my group, I just still always see someone else, or like can always find my group still, mm-hmm. which is nice. And then. You don't drink anymore, but it's nice that they do have those huge bars with like 20, oh, yeah. it's 20 in bartenders. In and and out. Yeah, it was fun, dude. Levity, that was probably my favorite set. Levity's, they make some bangers. I mean, I think last time I saw you was at Bass Ribbon, I think. Yeah. I want to say, which was a good time. Was that your first time going? No. Uh, yeah second gotcha. did you grow up for often at all or anything like that no i mean i was always bit. the guy that like was just there to smoke weed and yeah then i would lose <laughs> someone's disc right I mean, <laughs> yeah but like for sure like that was kind of the crazy part was i like i grew up frolfing here now there's fucking festival going yeah on no here. like even though i don't like disc golf that much it's i still like the fact that it's there right you know what i mean it's just like a vibe in and general. it's like we grew up what five ten minutes from there tony yeah. i think you live like five minutes from there yeah yeah it's like 10 minutes from my house it's nice yeah and like i know the people that run it cooper and jordan they're they've been in the scene for like a really long time yeah used to be the they promoter at used Skyway. To, yeah i remember seeing them a yeah. lot too they're good peeps hills yeah it's a good festival though dude and this this year i mean shit they topped the lineup from last year like it's dude it was fire last it was year. so sweet like hash just drove by like on a golf cart and i like dabbed him up yeah. I was like, this is so sick like, yeah dude it's cool too because like it's such a little like you know little festival but it's spread out just enough but like uh 
it's a vibe yeah um did you go to somerset at all like no so no. I, I know right that's just kind of like how i got introduced to the scene honestly i i missed out there was one time that i had bought tickets it was like the year that skrillex and i can't remember who else was on it was like jaws skrillex and i want to say people. even mellow was there that year too yeah though. that sounds right but i had to sell my tickets because yeah. i like had to do something well so originally tony That's is the I one did. yeah like uh i basically set it all up and then never went. And then you didn't even end up going really and then i ended up going like the <laughs> next like four years in a row and um because basically we were like we got to like do something like this summer i think i was about to be a senior and you probably like just graduated yeah we got a big group of people and then i don't know it was like two weeks before i got a d-dub and i was like yeah yeah that'll do it dude they're expensive go. i remember two being <laughs> I <have> like two. <laughs> i got one as well a long time ago this but um sucks. well let's turn it into uh a meeting boys yeah <laughs> for real as i'm sitting here fucking drinking a claw <laughs> i swear this is the last one new year new me dude that <laughs> thing you posted i don't know if it's on your snapchat or facebook but it's like the picture of you and it's like um when someone asks about like cocaine after like oh yeah the fucking rainbow <laughs> they're flying out of the tits yeah that was me that's why i had to quit drinking dude <laughs> no for sure it would be like one sip and like i'm just going let's get a bag yeah (laughs) um it's easy do you still like smoke weed or anything like that yeah i smoke weed like i'll do mushrooms it's great i mean plus like i have like a bad like appetite i've always been like really skinny too and it i wish i had that problem yeah it makes me eat helps me sleep yeah weed like i have a medical card it like helps my anxiety so yeah um that's kind of like why I, I, I gotta go visit um Travis too because he's kind of like in that space now. Um, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I don't know where exactly it is, but I think like North probably knows or something. where to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a crazy thing. There's probably gonna be dispos in like a year or two here. Hopefully, yeah. That's so we're getting sober this year, or what? California sober. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like that's the thing. I, but like now that weed's legal, I mean, I don't even. When, like when anymore. people say sober, like I just assume they still smoke weed, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's uh, just like one of those things that, like, I don't know. I mean, fuck, I've smoked since I was like twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did you go to Coon Rapids High School though? Yeah. Okay. You know what's even crazy? Um, how <laughs> long ago did you work at Noodles? Oh uh, fuck! It's been like eight years now. Okay, because I used to work there Nine. too, but I think. When I started, you had like just left or something. Yeah, because I remember you'd come in a lot. Because well, uh, fucking what's his name? Brando. Yeah, Brandon yeah. and fucking um, John Mason. Oh my, yeah, but blonde hair. Um, Spanky. Yes, Spank still works there. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. No way. Fuck, I haven't seen him, or I seen him at a show one time randomly, but I yeah. miss those fuckers. Yeah, I see him every once in a while. He went to Dance Fest this year. Um. Unfortunately, the only times I kind of see him is randomly, like at shows. Yeah, shows. yeah. Um, used to be like best friends, but it's part of growing up, I guess. You know, yeah. See people here and there and whatnot. Yeah, dude, I fucking never leave my house. <laughs> dude, me. I need to start doing that. <laughs> it's healthy, man. I don't know. Like, I'm really like, like at this point in my life, like you know, I work at UPS, so like I already work a bunch of hours and then all this other stuff like you know i could i keep up but like at the end of the day it is pretty draining so like on my downtime i just i don't like to like when i get home from work i don't want to do shit you know but yet i still you know i i try to only go to shows if it's like somebody i really enjoy like a big armory show yeah otherwise i'd be going two times every weekend and like just trying to save my money and get everything right right now i'll see your dad yeah that too uh you got a daughter right yeah she's uh she just turned or she'll be three and or four before january good stuff man yeah i'll probably have to ask you some I almost fucking forgot questions. fucking age for a <laughs> <laughs> i forget my age still dude yeah it it's funny too because she's a leap year baby so technically she'll be one 
her that's too. Crazy. That's crazy. Or no, she Wild. she won't. She technically she wouldn't age. It, for it's like every four years she's gonna live forever. Yeah, isn't that weird? <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. The the people at the hospital said like it's almost like more likely to have a kid with like a missing finger or toe than to have one on a leap year. That is kind of crazy thing about it. <laughs> I yeah. was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that. Yeah. yeah. It's just, she was born on that day where it's like, that that day only, it only happens every four years. It's so weird. It's just odd. So we get to pick like what day, like, oh, what day should we celebrate her birthday this year? Like, <laughs> um, how long have you been working at UPS? Uh, it'll be four years this coming fall. And then you're a driver? Yeah. So I'm actually, uh, my day job, I'm in logistics. Oh, yeah. But, um, kind of like more like freight stuff, like on pallets. So not really like small pack stuff, but. Yeah, I got this shit job. I mean, <laughs> it's all good. It's good. It's good money. Good yeah. benefits. How was the holidays? This year, dude, it wasn't bad. No really? snow. So like. Oh, yeah. You don't got to fight that and stuff. And like. They're pretty good because, like, you get like helpers and like they'll hire these people to like drive their personal vehicles and like come take stops off you and shit. So it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I was seeing a bunch of Facebook posts about stop ordering packages and people fucking Dude, taking uh, videos of their trucks. The post office and like the fucking uh, USPS. Yeah, yeah, USPS. They like did some deal where it basically like people got a discount for like shipping stuff through them. So like their people were working like 13 hour days, like every day. So they fucked up. Yeah. They fucked yeah. up. I mean, probably good. People were quitting move, left and right and shit. Yeah. Dude, we ordered a, uh, a drill from Amazon like two, three days ago and it literally showed up like six hours later. Yeah. Well, I was, like, weird. <laughs> I was getting home when the USPS person was dropping off a package. She's like, are you guys done buying stuff for Christmas? <laughs> and I was like, nope. Uh, I couldn't tell you. There's few people that live here that are buying <laughs> stuff. And then she's like, it'd be nice if you didn't. So I'm like, <laughs> people always look at me and they're uh, like, oh, what did my wife order now? <laughs> for real though dude every, every day yeah my girl's on amazon it's just so constantly. much cheaper online yeah it is and it's just convenient man like i don't gotta go to target to go find something that i don't want that's a different version of what i actually needed <laughs> that's I mean, like every time i go to target it's, i end up buying a bunch of shit that i, I fucking need. love target though me too dude i kind of grew up like uh we hate walmart type of yeah, family I, Walmart yeah. sucks. We used to always just say like it fucking smells weird and shit. Well, yeah, dude. It's just like, and also too, if you just think about like the Walton family, like, bro, they're just corrupt. You know? Just not great people. No. Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck Walmart. <laughs> Fuck Walmart. There's a while too where you're like ordering our groceries, which was kind of nice, but. I've never tried that. I actually don't mind going to the grocery store and like grabbing my shit. Yeah, I know. That people gotta order everything now. Like, dude, you'd be surprised on some of the shit that I see, like treadmills and shit. Like, isn't there like stores for that kind of stuff? I think <laughs> they're all going out of business because yeah. everybody's getting no one online. wants to fucking do anything. Yeah. It's just so convenient. Yeah, like some is. people ain't got a truck or nothing to pick stuff up. Like, oh fuck that guy. So, He's getting the I'm treadmill. About to, I'm about to order like a three hundred pound safe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that'd be come, fucked. It'll come to me. I don't think I would do that to be honest. Just that'd be a dick move. <laughs> Just think about me. <laughs> <laughs> How often are you um traveling like for your musical promotional stuff? Uh, lately it's been more. Um, yeah, I don't, it's just kind of random right now because like all of my guys, they're kind of like in that in-between stage of like you know like small artists and like kind of like breaking through right so it's kind of random at this point but like you know the goal is to i mean have them play in different places every weekend for sure yeah yeah um what are some big venues you book uh we i mean we just did the show at the skyway at the loft um i don't know it's kind of random honestly because like we're at that point, you know, where it's like, we'll just take what we can get as long as it benefits their career. So, I mean, it could anywhere from like playing support 
for a bigger artist at like a bigger venue or like playing at you know like a dive bar for like a small cap headline yeah it just yeah. depends right even at a vfw let's run it yeah and another thing too <laughs> i forgot to say uh another thing i do with like the build different brand is like i do con- consultations so like the way i see it like as i kind of like go up in the ranks with music you know it kind of helps me it helps others and like is my way of giving back to like teach people like you know kind of try to cut the time down for them and like right. obviously i do like hourly rates and shit but like it's kind of like my way of like giving back and then also you know building me up into the person that i'm trying to be at the same time so right that's cool um and i would assume too since you were djing for quite some time like you already knew like a good amount of people in the scene which is nice yeah dude honestly like most of my like quote unquote like connections came from that time yeah because like i i was playing shows like every weekend was so, it like, mostly skyway or were you kind of I, i've played everywhere uh everywhere in minneapolis like every venue myth the armory i played snowda one year skyway i actually never made it to snowda i'm super bummed about that dude the year that i played it was like skrillex gucci main like it was nuts <laughs> yeah it, um, there were so many different like huge artists ganja marshmallow i think even yeah, like post malone's play yeah more. yeah i think that was he was on the bill that year yeah what happened to snowda i don't know i don't they, know because uh, like i'm not sure what happened but yeah alex toffler he uh he runs TC Presents. And they're the ones that put that on. And they do like infrasound and stuff too. But yeah, they must have just decided they didn't want to do it. Have you been in for that? I'm assuming. Uh, have you been to infrasound? No, actually, I was gonna go this year for my first time, but I think I was just like broke yeah, or something. I would but, like to definitely check it out for sure. Yeah, my my girlfriend. That's kind of like her jam, like that style of music. So mm-hmm. we'll probably go next year. And I think there's two a year i think yeah they do the there's like the regular infrasound then they do infrasound uh equinox during like the fall gotcha gotcha yeah i'm definitely gonna have to check that out because it's so close too yeah it's that's kind of why that's why i love somerset because it's like an hour drive i'm not even gonna lie there was out of the four years i went i think i went home early two of the years <laughs> yeah just being an idiot and shit like you know, can't sleep it's 90 degrees like yeah i mean fuck dude i if i would have went to that i probably would have just drove home every night unless i was like fucked up or something <laughs> yeah which i probably still would have drove the th- <laughs> well, the thing was too, when, when i first started going to Somerset, it was 16 plus so really Damn. i think i was 17 the first time i went that's nuts oh if you look back on that now and you're like that was kind of stupid yeah. if you think about it well i mean i don't know I mean, not stupid, like money wise, just like more like, yeah, do you really need 16? No, I know here? that shows yeah. like it's just probably not a good idea. People are fucking bringing their babies and stuff. Yeah, there. I find that crazy. Like, yeah, they, I some of them I've seen plugs, but times. like, do, do they really need to be in that no. environment? <laughs> no, they don't. Or like animals too. That shit bugs me. Yeah. Because that can't be good. You know, for their hearing. I remember sure. one year I was at E Forest and some dude yelled at me for petting his dog. And it was a service dog, but obviously it was kind of <laughs> fucked up. But like, I didn't know you couldn't do that. <laughs> Were you fucked up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's Forest. Then you're good. Yeah, he probably was pissed. Oof. <laughs> there's, there's like a sign on the dog that says, don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> touch? <laughs> Um, you got anything on the books like show wise or anything uh, works? anything you can spill yeah fuck it we got we haven't announced it yet but uh thread is playing support for deuces and dion timmer at the loft oh hell yeah i can't remember when it is but it's in like two months that's gonna be at the March. loft yeah dude i i that's always love when bigger artists play at the loft me too it's just like Lo- the loft is like my home yeah Seriously. i love the loft just couches everywhere and fucking, it's like for me it's like the underground like rave vibes Mm -hmm. that like i like and like the loft is kind of like the perfect happy medium it's like the underground vibe just from like the style of it and like i don't Mm -hmm. know 
I like the close, intimate settings. The for elevators, shows. a nice touch. Wait, what? The elevators. <laughs> Dude, you know how many times I've been stuck in those elevators? They used to just ring That's how hard too. Yeah. They That's my them. biggest fear every time I go in those. I got stuck in there with like 20 people one time. Oh, fuck no. Because like, you know those things are packed all, with fucking people every oh, five minutes. Everybody's all fucked up <laughs> screaming at once. It's also better than the stairs though, dude. Like, I also really liked the exchange before they switched it though. Yeah. I don't like how it's set up right now. You know now. what I mean? <laughs> It's the, the stage on like the side was perfect. I had never been there now, until like, this year. Like there was a lot of length back then. Now it's like fucking tiny for like the front row. It, you can't see the yeah. person playing. There's so many speakers are too big. And stuff. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like our buddy Brian. He has to stand short, on a so fucking like, stool or yeah, something. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It, I like yeah, yeah, how. Where's the DJ's? Uh, step stool we need it pronto <laughs> i liked how intimate you could get on the other stage back then like you could damn near just have people everywhere i'm pretty one, sure they they, they stopped doing that because people were headbutting the glass <laughs> i could see I that i swear to god <laughs> like that. it's when they started doing dubstep shows and they're like all right we gotta fucking change this yeah <laughs> do you know if the exchange and poorhouse are owned by the same people i don't I they might be because they just built that like uh the venue the poorhouse venue above the exchange so it might be I think that's where Munchie had his first show I think I haven't so, been there so yet like it looks fucking cool I haven't cool. been there either um I went to Josh the exchange this year it was fun that was fun it was so packed dude um where we went to um abstract that was tight Abs- i didn't go to that but i wanted to so bad it was a lot of fun a lot of the homies were there and abstract shit. fucks man i think that's when we met was that when we met win and stuff he's a dope dude um, yeah edwin's dope dude he is dope i have no idea i thought or did that all happen at did, have you ever been to retox at um Cowboy. cowboys no but i've seen it that's kind of like when we like met why did we of- start going to la katrina for when was that much. after I think. we had the pod with him? Um, yeah, you guys possibly. had uh, the elite EDM on there too. Yeah, They're yeah, cool Bash, people. he's a good guy. Yeah, he supported. He, uh, I guess, him and his girl have supported a few of my artists. Yeah, they're good shit. Their page is dope. That shit's blowing up. It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think we met him at one of Wins shows he used to do like a uh, taco and do you remember what it was called didn't like, he bring him it was like a taco pod? tuesday at first, yeah wasn't it? i think so isn't it did we meet him on the pod um that he brought yeah but i remember seeing all of his like merch and stuff at one of oh ones. yeah it was laying on the counter and they were putting it all out i remember yeah. seeing that and then when happened to bring him on the pod right it was yeah. both of them wasn't it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we were hanging out with when at base ribbon yeah yeah that's the first time i actually met him oh, okay for sure <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah he booked thread earlier this year at that uh uptown vfw that place is actually really cool too it's very spacious nothing wrong with the v man and you save money going to yeah, the v, like. I like it and it dude they they crank the fucking ac in that place so it doesn't get like sweaty That's yeah fire. we're trying to plan a baby shower right now and i'm like honestly the vfw the v might not be yeah. like a bad they probably space. do it for a good like good price too yeah or we could do it at barfly <laughs> 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 fucking skyway main stage baby Just shower baby <laughs> dude i kind of do you miss the carpet remember when they said carpet's still in there no, I don't miss that carpet. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Well, do you know what? I, so I think it was probably three or four years ago, but like all their like piping and stuff is like on the top floor in a pipe burst. So they had oh, to, really? And it flooded. So they that. had to like tear out a bunch of shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, dude, you got to think how many times people like barfed on that fucking carpet and shit. Like it couldn't have been. Yeah, dude. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> you probably get high just rolling around on that. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, dude, like, catch a few things I'm too. Pretty sure I've probably puked on that floor. A few oh, hundred percent. I mean, I'm talking like like during my like local DJ era, I was blacked out for like five years straight on the weekends. Like, my brain took a toll for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta stop drinking too. I don't know. Too I don't really like black out. I mean, except for like last night. Just because New Year's, but <laughs> I guess I was crying last night. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he was up there. You gave me like 30 hugs. You bit my ear. I bit your ear last uh, night? You're tickling my That's ear. That's fucked up, dude. You're fucking getting weird. Was Molly getting jealous or what? Allie was. <laughs> it's funny as fuck. All right. Stop drinking starting tomorrow. <laughs> dude, it's hard, man. Um, I mean, it was hard for me at least. And uh, like, how didn't you like lose a bunch of like weight too when you stopped drinking? Yeah, dude, I fucking like the highest I remember myself being was like three twenty five, and then I quit drinking, and then I started working for UPS like around the like same time. Um, a lot of so like that quitting drinking and then i started going to the gym and shit for sure where you work out uh where yeah planet fitness just because it's cheap yeah i go to planet too yeah um i want to go to lifetime and it's like fucking 500 lifetime is great (laughs) but it's just like i don't like you're not seeing me shoot hoops or anything like that like i don't really like need to the only thing i would use it (laughs) that like extra for is like the pool maybe it would be nice that steam room or whatever Oh, like the sauna and yeah, shit? Yeah, that would be yeah. nice. But yeah, dude, I lost like... I mean, last year I went from 320-ish to... I got down to a little under 200 pounds. And then I, I ended up gaining some weight, but I'm at like 230 now. But You're getting back into That's a good, good dude. routine. So yeah. You diet at all? Uh, the only thing when I lost all the weight that I really changed was like intake more water and then i switched my dinner from like you know whatever i would normally eat to like a salad with chicken every night and then i just try not to eat after 8 p.m and then i start eating the next day after noon because it like gives your body enough time to like process everything my problem is i eat it's hard after 10 p.m all the time yeah dude that's like the hardest part (laughs) yeah but like i mean you don't have a problem with weight I know I need to gain more weight. Like, yeah, keep <laughs> keep chowing. <laughs> start, start eating. If you want to gain more. weight, eat after it. It'll help. Yeah. Seriously. I need to get back on that gym grind for sure. It makes you feel good, man. Oh, for sure. And I know I can do it too. It's just more about like the first two or three weeks getting in the routine. And yeah. It'll be good. Once you're in, you're in. But like it, yeah, at least a month and then it kind of like is normalized. Yeah. It sucks at first. Yeah, there was a while I was working out at Experience, which it's a nice gym, but I was just saw way too many people in there. I know, and it's kind of like I'm not really here to the be one social. Plane. Yeah. Um, I was going to that one for a while, but then I ended up going to the one in Coon Rapids. Oh yeah, I forgot they put that there. Well, the one in Blaine now is Crunch. Sounds crunchy. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go to Experience by. Uh, the one off 65 and that's literally why i quit going there too because i kept seeing people i knew from high school i'm like i'm just trying to work out yeah no like you it's, know i don't mind seeing people i'm just like the gym's just not like a spa where i'm trying, trying to catch yeah, up you know what i know I mean? and that's what always happens yeah you know? trying to like when i like i have a pretty busy schedule so like I, when i go to the gym i'm like trying to go there do what get in, get to out do, get out yeah. yeah are you still seeing a trainer yeah How's that? Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Does he just beat your ass or what? Or is it no, good? dude, my back's fucked up. So basically, Yo, just like try one of these, dude. I this is not a sponsored ad. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. I just bought one of these at Target because I I was like getting a hunch from like looking at screens all the time, but it's like this wheel. And you you can like roll. Oh, on I got it. that. Do you, <laughs> dude? That that thing really helps me. I, I I be rolling my back out every day, dude. I I've like I've only used it probably for two weeks, and I can already <laughs> see that like my posture is like going back to normal, which is. Good. I just got my first legit massage like two or three weeks ago, and I'm like, 
I should do that once a month, honestly. Did you cry? No, it wasn't one of those like therapeutic <laughs> it wasn't, massages. There was no happy. It was a couple massages. I cried during <laughs> my first massage. It was like no idea why I was crying. I just had tears coming out of my Happy eyes tears. and I was laughing like, yes, so fire, hard, finally. dude. I was <laughs> laughing like there was like a pool of tears on the floor after and I was just could not stop laughing either. Like it felt so good. Like it was ridiculous. I need to go to a chiropractor, but like I don't know. I think this wheel thing is it might fix my problem. Oh, I was mean to ask you too. Are you still collecting a bunch of Supreme? No, you know, like I have a bunch and I stopped because it just got so hyped to the point where like, it's like, I don't even want to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You, like I, I really enjoyed it when it was like the time period where like you had to like try to beat the bots, like buying stuff on the app, yeah. but you still had hope. But like now you have no hope. Right. You know what I mean? Did Supreme have to do anything with your DJ name? Just because the red shoes? And no. Stuff? No, no, not at all. So the reason why I got that name is because like I, I would always wear like red Vans. And then I went to this house party um, like before I started DJing. So it was probably like eight years ago or nine years ago or something. And I was walking around and this dude, his name's Matt uh he came up to me and like i didn't know who he was at the time and he like came up to me and he whispered in my ear he's like red shoes i'm like what the fuck and i look <laughs> around and, and he's just wearing the same shoes and then he used to work for i'm pretty sure he worked for sim shows so like i would be walking through the crowd at like skyway or something and he would do the same thing and i would be like yo what's good dude and then like i don't know like i decided i was gonna start djing i was like what the fuck am i gonna name myself right and then i just picked that crazy how like the creating like of your name like comes about you know what i mean yeah i mean that it was like the most random circumstance yeah yeah there was like no i even got that shit tatted dude or is it can you see it the shoe yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what's up though but yeah that's where that fucking came from random i don't know i like random weird stories like that yeah no 100 percent um where do your tats or do you have like a main artist or yeah so the main guy that i've went to his name's dave wick uh he it's just him at wick tattoo and blaine um he's done most of my stuff but like I, I have a couple that I got in California and then I, I've went to, uh, what's his name? Corey D from Mafia Inc. He owns it, but he did this like demonic Mafia, figure. like down the street right Yeah. Now. Okay. Yep. He's really good. But yeah, Dave Wick. Follow him on Instagram, Wick Tattoo. He, he does crazy good stuff. Like he'll do anything from like, like he did like that lettering, but like he's also an artist. So he'll do like, uh, like watercolor style tattoos and like different stuff like that. So he's got like a variety of like skill set. I didn't know you know my buddies, um, Ethan and Evan. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah, dude. Fucking uh, Evan is like I used to call him my son because mm -hmm. way back in the day when I like first started DJing, like the group of friends that I'd always be with, he was chilling with us and like I didn't even know this but at the time he was probably only like 17 so like okay. he was always kind of hanging out with us like getting in trouble with us so, yeah so I met him because he went to NDSU and my ex did too and then um randomly met him like at a Skyway show and I've been always ever since he's a dad now too yeah dude crazy he good peeps um I think Ethan is doing like um Um, I don't even know what you'd call it, but like he's doing for, all. Uh, he's like making visuals. Yeah, for artists. yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna have him on here. Honestly, oh yeah, kind of kind of nice to pick someone's brain that's in that space. Yeah, you should. And he, uh, he's like good friends with like. Uh, there's a company called like Interstellar Lighting. They do like a lot of visuals and shit for like Skyway. And I would also really like to get um. Oh, you need claw. Sorry. Um. I think your buddies with them, Isaiah. Yeah, photographer. That would be tight. So I actually randomly popped or kind of met him at a army show. I think it was Subtronics like a year or two ago. I think he shot that. And um, I asked if he wanted to come to the pod and he actually gave me 
spreads um, hard. But back then, I didn't know who Thread was, and I was like, "Now you got the same dude." <laughs> like, yeah, no, let's go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that'd be another good one. Yeah, dude, do it. Uh, also, too, fuck, you should even have Thread on. Oh, he's dude, a, I would. Uh, he's an interesting guy to talk yeah, no, to. Josh 100%. is a riot. I got him on Snap too. I've asked him a few times. Um, it's hard to get people locked in, man. You know what I mean? And, yeah. But part of the deal, you know. But I appreciate you coming on. Yeah, for sure, dude. I've always wanted to do one of these. Well, that's great, dude. Honestly, it's kind of like cool. it's almost kind of like my therapy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I mean, it kind of is though. You just chill, fucking. Talk about random stuff. Like, Literally. And we try to make it as comfortable as possible. You know what I mean? It's so I wish I wasn't as hungover as I am right now. Unfortunately, <laughs> so I'm not giving you the best of me right now. Yeah, but. That's all good. <laughs> Anything else we want to cover? Boys? Up to you, man. Tony? <laughs> Barely breathing over there? Yeah, I feel it. Day after New Year's, I mean, people start going to bed early. Yeah, for sure. Any resolutions for the year? Um, for me, one of my biggest things right now is like working on like saving money. I'm really bad with money. So am I, dude. Um, does your girl help you out at all? Yeah, she, I mean, she kind of like. I don't know if she necessarily like helps me, but like she like kind of like like yo, you don't need to buy that. You know what I mean? Which right. helps, but like that's like one of my biggest focuses. Um, my health too, like as far as like you know, getting back into like full blown routine in the gym and stuff. Like that's definitely something I'm already doing it, but like staying consistent with it throughout the year. Right. I just want to get. At, at the end of the day, it's like, I'm not trying to be like, you know, a fucking bodybuilder or right. anything, but like, I just want to be like at my peak self, you know? Well, the thing too about the gym helps. is like, I almost did it more for the mental. Like, I just put me like in a good headspace. Yeah. You know I mean? Facts. You look good, you feel good. Exactly. Yes, sir. I don't look good. I don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's just trying to wrap this up. <laughs> he can get home. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the truth. I yeah, need to work on myself as well. But the video I, games will get you. Yeah. I yeah, dude. I play RuneScape. That's my that's my go to game. Caught myself playing Call of Duty for like twelve hours two days ago. I'm like, fuck. I mean, dude. there's a lot of worse shit <laughs> you could be doing. You know I mean? But I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not trying to go drink at the bars as much. That's a trap, dude. You blow so much money. Fucking 50 bucks just for like a meal and a couple drinks. I'd be buying shots and shit. Also, too, like, you know, as far as like the music business stuff, just I'm trying to get this shit to pop off 2024, man. Definitely catching some traction, dude. Yeah, I can I mean, feel it. i for sure, so... Big ups, man. Thank you. You got it. All right, dude. So you've been on the grind for four years, you said? Yeah. I mean, a little bit over four. Um, so, like, where we're at right now, I mean, dude, we've made, like, crazy progress. Hell yeah. Like, seeing, seeing people, like, just, like, other labels and stuff that have been doing it longer, and, like, we're already, like, damn near catching up to them. It's like, damn. And, like, sometimes, I don't know, it's so weird because, like, you – you kind of like, like sometimes it just feels like, you know, you're at a standstill, but like, it's like all of like the little things that you do, like it just eventually adds up to something right. really big, you know, and slowly gets faster. But sometimes it's like, damn, like, is there something I should be doing? You know? Like, right. I mean, I'd say like, dude, a year ago, dude, we were ripping like three or four a weekend. But the thing is with that is we we're almost doing too much because like you can't. Tony does all the editing and shit like that, and that takes like hours and hours. And sometimes you're dropping a pod that you shot fucking like two months ago, and like a lot can happen in between that time. Yeah, it's kind of just one of those things where like you can't get like so lost in like what you're doing that like you forget to live. 
Right, 100%. Sometimes <laughs> I'll be trying to grind so hard that I'm like, just never take time for myself. I feel you, it. <laughs> you definitely need it. Takes a toll. What's your shirt say? You are bad for my mental health. You hear that, hoodie? (laughs) You hear that? It's it's like a streetwear brand, and they it's like all wrapped around like mental health awareness for sure. It's cool. Nice. They do like uh, Bill Difference actually sponsored by them, so this is kind of like a sponsored thing right now. But they uh, do like donations for like mental health awareness, like different fun like foundations and stuff for like every sale. So definitely check them out. Definitely check it out. Um, what socials are you on or where can people find you? Uh, you can find us on like Facebook, Instagram, threads, Twitter. I honestly don't use the Twitter, but, um, I have to run our Twitter and I barely ever tweet. Yeah. Dude, Twitter is brutal. It's like, just cause like, dude, actually EDM, now. EDM yeah. Twitter is so toxic. So like, really? dude, I don't want to be a part of All that. All the Twitter yeah. is fucking toxic. Is, yeah. I, that's, I go on there and I'm seeing people fucking get shot in the head and stabbed. And I'm I like, mean, dude, what the fuck yeah, is this? There's I always like, looked at Twitter as a space for people to go and complain. It's like a you. vulgar news. Just fucking. There's no remorse on Twitter. Yeah. I don't know. I love Snapchat, though. Like, I think I use Snapchat more than text. Love, you like, know I love Snapchat. Yeah, dude, Snapchat's great. <laughs> I just love making people laugh, man. Yeah. I like being stupid. But yeah, I don't know. Instagram, follow us at High Caliber Records. Uh, mm-hmm. Same with Facebook. Built different music groups spelled out. Um, you can find me on social media at the Jake Robbins. And no, I'm not egotistical. That's like an Ohio thing. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, man. Well, I appreciate you coming on, boss. Yeah, thanks for having me, you guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And I hope uh, everybody listening has a great 2024. Get out there and fucking get that fucking bag baby get out there and go play I should have popped this champagne but literally I'm gonna pop it and have two sips and then throw it away (laughs) (laughs) throw up (laughs) alright peace guys peace like subscribe yep thank you for tuning in happy new year be good stay up stick to your resolutions don't be a bitch Uh, what time you normally have